Well, hey, this is Gordon. It's uh, July uh, 14th, 2011. Uh, just got finished painting my car finally. Uh, yeah, it's yellow. Uh, there was no right tires. The, uh, I took the big tires off because I didn't want to get paint all over them. And I didn't have enough... Uh, I didn't have enough tarp to cover up the back tires. I had enough to cover the front ones up. But uh, it turned out okay. I'm not really picky, so uh, I'm happy with it. And I just got one little run. Where's that? Right there. And I can live with that. Uh, the hood is fiberglass, and it's like probably 40 years old, 35, 40 years old, so I knew the hood wasn't going to turn out very well because it had like probably six or seven coats of different colored paint on it. And there's some spots where the hood's really messed up. But it's okay. Uh, it's always easy to uh, paint another hood if I decide to change it later. But at least it's all one solid color again. So I'm happy. I'm going to let it sit uh, about a week. And then I'm going to put the radiator back in it and get it running again. I want to make sure the paint's good and dry first before I, before I go uh, messing with it. Put the body straight. Like I said, there's probably a few small spots that I could have done better on the body work, but uh, I'm like I say, I'm not really that picky. I mean, you know, you go, you, Spending all this time getting everything perfect. It's about time somebody slams the door into it and messes it up anyway. I got a yellow floor and overspray. But uh, ventilation's an important thing. So here's what I did. I had an extra door. So what I did is I nailed it up. And then I got the fan blowing, you know, towards, towards me. So that uh, cleared out a bunch of the fumes. And of course, I... Uh, the door come in handy for testing my gun to get the pattern One, adjusted two, right. So I'll rip it down and put it back in the shed so when I paint the uh, other car next year, I'll have, have the same setup. Oh, the main reason I'm painting this one right now is because uh, the 69 Charger, the one I'm going to get to the Dirty Mary Crazy Larry car, I'm going to paint that one next year. And uh, I wasn't going to set this one outside, you know, just in primer because it, it rusts all the pieces. So uh, after this one dries and I get it running again and a few things are done to it, around fall I'll put this one outside and bring the uh, 69 in here and work on it. And about next spring, hopefully, I'll get the 69 painted. And there's my, other yellow, my original yellow charger. Now these are different shades of yellow. I can't remember what I painted that one. But I'm, I'm going to paint them all the same. It'll be, less, uh, it'll be less paint I have to buy because i got like a quart left over. And the reason is, this one's always been yellow. Ever since we've, uh, I've had, it's been in the family. The Dirty Mary Crazy Larry Charger is also yellow. And I said, well, if two of them are yellow, I might as well make them all three. And then it's like, you know, I don't know how to keep uh, one color of touch-up paint on hand. And having leftovers from when I paint one car to go to another won't be a problem because I can use just use whatever's left over in the next paint. And paint, by the time you buy the reducer, the, uh, activator and everything else you know it's around $250 a gallon so uh, uh, you know I'm, I'm just gonna go with one color for the save me some money and that's all